Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I got a quick tip video and today's video is going to be regarding different rotor sizes. Now it's not uncommon for you to go to a parts store and sometimes they'll ask you uh, which size brakes do you have or what size rotor and a lot of you may be like, wait a minute, what do you mean? Uh, some cars have multiple rotor sizes depending on what packages they have. This is primarily a issue uh, mainly with a lot of European cars and it's not really an issue but European cars tend to have uh, different uh, rotor packages and brake packages. Uh, so uh, today in this video I have two rotors next to me that came off of a Volkswagen. Uh, this car was one of those cars that had this particular uh, variation and I'm going to show you guys how to take a reading and convert it into the proper specs. Now before we go ahead and begin guys, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below, smash that like button because it helps the channel out. And uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get started on today's video. All you're going to need to do this is a tape measure. Now, I use this snap-on one, guys. I'm not hyping it. It's not sponsored. Uh, and the reason why is if you look at this, you get some very detailed numbers here. But realistically, all you really need to know is the inches. Now, I'm going to flip over the rotor. Uh, the main reason is, if you notice, you have the top head here. And you want to get a nice, solid reading. So you're always going to want to flip them over to the side where it's uh, nice and easy. And what you're going to do is go ahead and put your tape measure there. Now this one is coming out to 11 and 3 quarters uh, for the rear. Um, and this one here for the front, we are getting... It's coming up to about uh, 13 and 5 eighths. Now, this number, I will say, is not going to be exact. You're looking for an approximation. Uh, because when I take my 11 and 3 eighths inches and I convert it over, it doesn't quite give me 300 millimeters like this rotor is. And when I do the conversion for the front one, same thing. It doesn't give me the exact 340 millimeters uh, that this one is specifically. Um, just to give you guys an idea, I have it written down here to the side. Um, when I did the conversion on the front one, it came up to around 337, and this one was coming out to somewhere around 295. Now, the options are 300 or 282. Uh, obviously, the number that I got on this with my measurements was higher than 282, so I automatically know that I'm going to round up and go to the 300, and because more than likely, that's what it is. And same thing with the front. It was more than 300. It was in the 330s, which means this is a 340, because there's no way you can be that far off. You're going to have some minuscule adjustments, you know, because sometimes you'll have some rust here, or it'll be, you know, uh, a little bit bulkier than it was originally. So you will have to basically measure it out and get to as close as you can and what I find is if you have two options like this front one you have 300 or 340 and you're specking in by measuring it out that number in millimeters is closer to 340 you're gonna be at the 340 same thing with the rear uh, the number that it's closest to is usually the one that it is um, it does, there's no really halfway points or anything like if you had uh, let's say to choose between 11 and a 12 if it was more towards, uh, let's say, 11.6, that it would be closer to 11, no, you'd go to the 12. Uh, that's kind of the reasoning behind this. I know it's a little bit weird and complicated. It can be a brain teaser. But the number that you measure out, like I said, this one came out to a 330-something, uh, and this one was a 290-something. And this 290-something is closer to 300 than the 282. And same thing with this one, guys. Instead of a 300, it was uh, way above it. It was at 340. And um, that's what we chose. Now, I wound up calling the parts store. I ordered the 300 and the 340. Um, and it worked out beautifully. We didn't have any issues, everything bolted up, and uh, the car is all set and done. But this is just one quick way for you guys to be able to measure these at home. If you have a better way of measuring, if you guys have some sort of caliper gauge that opens up this far, which I don't at my shop, uh, that's one way you can measure it. You could probably get inches and millimeters that way. Um, but all you really have to do is measure from one point to the other point and try to get it perfectly centered on each of these and make sure that you're measuring from the back side, not the front side. Um, another tip that you may find useful is sometimes there may be a stamping on here. However, on these, I've looked at them and I don't really see any clear indication. Sometimes if you're lucky enough, you'll have a number stamped on here or even a part number that you could reference and it'll basically tell you which one it is. But in this scenario, uh, we don't have that. It does say VWAG here. 
Uh, but other than that, I mean, it gives me some random numbers like FT66 and a TL011. Um, so I'm assuming it's tolerances and stuff like that for, you know, cutting this down if you were to cut it. Uh, same thing goes with the front, guys. It doesn't really have any numbers. This one's a little bit more scarce. Uh, you can look pretty much anywhere on here. I've looked at all angles. There are no numbers on this. Um, everything uh, states to it, uh, you know, maybe possibly even being replaced before because normally factory ones will have stampings on them. So maybe someone was already in here, did the front rollers and pads, and uh, they didn't touch the rear, and the rears could have been original. That could be the case. But either way, uh, just just to, you know, kind of reiterate, that's how you measure uh, your rotors out if you need to get specs on them for purchasing your new rotors, guys. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. Please comment, like, and subscribe because it definitely helps the channel grow. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys on the next video.